I don't know what's happening here. Holy crap, what is going on? The well is expanding. I don't want it to blow up. What is up, guys? Oh, easy, easy. That's glass. Take it easy. If you're like me, I have always been fascinated with those paint pouring videos, and I've always wanted to try it, but for some reason, I just never have until today. Recently, I watched a video by R3K, RK3, RKO? I don't know. I always get that mixed up. Anyway, she was doing some of this pouring paint art on glass vases with Mixed Media Girl. Oh, by the way, shout out to Mixed Media Girl for being one of my subscribers. And they made it look so easy and inspired me. I was like, you know what? Today is the day. And I'll link their video in the description below so you can check them out. To start us off, I'm gonna use this vase that I already got. Give it a quick scuff and hit it with some Mate Clear. -A. I got it from the dollar store a long time ago, but I buy my wife flowers randomly and put them in here. But I really like those colorful vases and they're just so hard to find. And when I saw this video, I was like, oh, I can make it. Not to mention, oh, my hand's stuck. Oh gosh, not to mention my wife's just realized her new found favorite color is like a purpley plum looking. So my idea is to do three different colors of purplish and they said not to use transparents, like transparent things like alcohols and mica powders. So I'm gonna use alcohol inks and mica powders. And for my third color, I'm gonna use some acrylic paint to tint this one. I have no idea if that work or not. They make epoxy dyes, but I don't have any of that and I'm not gonna go buy any, so. We're gonna just make it do with what we got. That's how we roll, you know what I'm saying? All right, before we get started, we need to have everything ready because we're using the Fast Cast Quick Cure. You don't have a lot of working time, so you need to get your crap set up before you get going so you'll be ready. They say you could, more's better than less, isn't it? I don't know, they probably don't say that. All right, we got all of our additives in the cup. In the video, she did 20 ounces, which is insane. That's a ton. I don't have, I'm not using that much. Uh, plus my vase is kind of smaller-ish and I have an idea of how to use less material. Uh, I think I want to try it out. I'm really excited and I hope it works. If it works, you'll know. If it doesn't, you'll also know. So I always like to mark my lines because you can't see, I use a Sharpie. Prep up your area, get it ready. They use like a tray to catch their stuff. I'm using a little piece of wood, I spray painted silver. Then I got another genius idea. I had this mason jar. I have no idea where it come from. I don't even know anybody named Mason. I'm gonna pour the residual off the wood canvas into here, swirl it around, then dump it out and coat the inside and see what happens there. I'm really terrible at pouring this. I'm making tons of bubbles. Gotta get it right on the line. Keep your eye on the fruit. What movie is that from? Bonus points. Now we're gonna mix these up real good and she used a wooden stick, so I'm gonna use a big wooden stick. Scrape your edges. I think we're mixed up pretty good. It's getting kind of warm already. It's getting kind of warm already. Now we're ready to pour it into our thingamabobs. I don't know how much. I'm gonna do about the same on every one of them. Dixie cups should have measuring devices on the sides. That would be good, wouldn't it? Last one. This is the mica powders. Half here, half here, roughly. Okay, we'll mix it up. Gotta work quickly. No lollygagging. Gosh, I don't know what's happening here. Holy crap, what is going on? Oh my, okay, okay, whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? Why are you smoking? Okay, so that did not work. Maybe you don't use the quick stuff. Maybe you don't heat it up first. Okay, I'm not sure what happened. If you know what happened, oh, easy. Don't, I don't know. Whoa, it's expanding. It is, I don't want it to blow up. I gotta go, bye. Five minutes later. Okay, we're back again, sheesh. It looks like a slushy in this thing. What the heck? Okay, well that was a waste of good epoxy. All right, get this crap out of the way. Attempt number two, we're gonna use the regular um, time cure standard cure epoxy. And we're going to see if we cannot do that again. All right, looks like we got that mixed up pretty good. Uh, I hope it's not getting warm yet at least. And then we're gonna just pour half into here like, like the last time. You already seen this before, you know how it goes. All right, we got those mixed up. Now we're gonna put our white in the remainder. I added a little bit more. I have two and a half ounces in here. I think that'd be good. We're gonna do a little bit of acrylic. How much? Your guess is as good as mine and a little bit of alcohol ink. That's probably good. It's probably good, I don't know. Who knows? I've never done this before. It looks whitish. 
All right, now for this, you don't really have to work that fast because we're using the standard cure, but you still don't want to be a turtle. So let's set our stuff up, our little area, our vase or vase or vase, depending on how fast you are. Instead of pouring, like when you pour here, it's kind of like a little divot and you got to pour and pour and pour and use so much stuff before it finally overflows. And then when it does, it goes here and drops. Then you got to pour more and more and more before it finally flows enough to get inside here like that. You got to do the, but my idea was, I was like, well, I'll just put on my turner and do it while I'm spinning, which is cool. But that really doesn't satisfy the need to pour the paint like I've always been wanting to do. So to do that, I'm just going to do some drizzle dizzle on the top and then I'm going to grab it with my hand because what else would you grab it with? Then we'll be able to pour and it should go, put your hand in there. It should coat the whole thing. Let's just put this, just dip your hand in there, buddy. Like milk. Look at that. It should see there's a little groove right here that I feel like it would be really hard to get into. And I'm just going to put it all over this bad boy here. That way, in my mind, it'll create the friction. This little star stick's in the way. Good thing I had gloves on. Once you get it all coated, it doesn't have to be pretty, I don't guess, because it's all going to flow. I'm just doing it so that it will flow. All right. In my mind, that would fix the problem of having to pour so much before it, before it follows the, all the contours. It just makes sense to me. It might not even be true. I don't know. I might be wasting my time, but at least I'll know because I tried and I have an idea. That's the thing. When you have an idea and you want to try it, you'll be like, man, mm, that might not work. Who cares? Just do it. You'll never know if it works if you don't try it. There we go. We got that coated. My hand is really messy now. Looks cool though. I mean, it looks cool already. It looks better than just Plain old clear white. I like a colored vase, vase. See, with color and using the word vase, it's double fancy. But my hand is so sticky. All right, now, oh, look at that, that's fun. So now we're just gonna start pouring this bad boy. What I wanna do is just drizzle. I saw her do this with the, uh, whoop, whoa, 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 that's a little much there. I saw her do the zigzag, crisscross, whoops, I missed. Crisscrossy pattern. And that seemed to work pretty good. All right, that's enough of that. Next color. This is fun and messy, really messy. I probably wouldn't, you know, she didn't do that. I don't even, did she have gloves on? I don't even know. I'm going to go, have to go back and watch the video. Like I said, the video, I'll have it in the description of my video. So you lads can try it out. This might not even work, but it looks like it's working. Oh. Try not pour too much in the middle because it's the bottom. Nobody cares about the bottom. You're wasting a lot of material if you're just doing that. So now let's do another layer of white. Why not? I forgot about mixing white in there. Look at that. Oh, this white is nice. This is thick stuff. It's looking good. Oh, look at it coming down the sides. Oh, that's cool. I think it's going to look nice. I'll be putting some flowers in for my wife. She don't even know I made this thing. Look, honey, I made this. She's like, that's nice. She knows me, she's used to me. All right, now the mica powder one. Ooh, this is like a glittery purpley looking one. That's pretty, dude, if the whole thing looks like the bottom. Oh, that's sick. Get a zoom in on that. All right, here we go. I need a cameraman so I can get a zoom in. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have no idea what the front looks like because I can't see it. That's a lot of, ooh, look at it right now. Run, baby, run. Oh, let's go. That purple color is really sick. Maybe another white, huh? Oh, purple, okay, purple. Let's, I think we missed a little here. Let's do, whoops, whoops, that was a lot. All right, let's stop there. Let's do another layer of the white because I got tons of this stuff. I like doing this like this. Look at that, ooh. Ooh wee, look at that. That's pretty. I like the little, dude, the bottom looks so sick. And it, if I did it on a turner, on my tumbler turner, now if you don't know what, if you don't know what a tumbler turner is, uh, there's a video right here. And actually, if you might hear it running in the background. I have a have two little tumblers on there from a live feed I did in the Misfit Makers 
um, crafting and making 12 days of misfit Christmas, whatever they call it, uh, last night. So that was fun. This purple is the money color right here. Look, I like pour it on the edge. Ooh, that's a lot. Look, you see, okay, hold on. My theory is correct. Look at it, how it's just grabbing on in there. Hold on, what's going on in front? We need some more purple up here, guy. Where are you going? There we go. See how it just grabs and just goes down in there? My, I was right. Look, and I only used eight ounces of epoxy total. Well, you can't count. Don't count this one, okay? That, that doesn't count. That was a mistake. Now we're gonna do the uh, alcoholing. I about forgot what kind, of, what kind of stuff this was. I need this thing to be on a little spinner thing so I can see it all the way around. Cause I think I'm missing the front, which is your view. Whoop, let's do the front. Yeah, I totally missed the front there. Whoa, that's a lot. Do a zigzag there. I feel like it'll overflow there a little bit. I've actually got a lot left, sweet. I thought I'd run out really fast. Oh, look at that, that's so sick. It's totally covered back here. Let me turn around for you. Don't drop it, don't mess it up. Oh, that's what I could do. Let's just turn it around, oh my gosh. Turn it, turn it, oh easy. Wheezy? Oh, that's sketchy. I don't suggest doing that at home. There we go, look at that, look at that. Colors coming through there. What we got? Let's do, let's do the mic. I got tons of this left. And I really can't tell if one shows up better than the other because they all look so sick and they're really vibrant. It's really showing up really good. Uh, do it here. And the good news about this, look, this is epoxy. When you're done, I mean, you could put another layer of epoxy on if you wanted to, but you don't have to because it'll be cured. It's just, it's just done. I like standing up so I can see what I'm doing all the way around. I'm sitting down at this table. There we go. Let's do another layer of white. Just a little bit. I'm trying to be mostly purpley looking, you know? I like doing the zip zips this way. It's almost like doing it like a, what's that style called on a tumbler, a Milky Way? Yeah, I think that's it. I like catching around the edge there because it makes little patterns. This, this has turned out way better than I expected. It's, it's a lot, once you get it going, it's a lot easier than I expected, to be honest. Um, part of me just wants to dump it and pour it out, but then you won't get as much of a cool pattern. Wow, look at that. And that's just gonna run down the more I pour on there. Oh, that's so sick. That's so fun. That is cool. I'm gonna wrap this up and give it to my wife. She don't have to know that we done had this vase before. I still got so much left. I was afraid uh, of being a cheapskate and not having enough, but eight ounces is plenty. Just take your time. And I really, again, I think the key factor was the pre rubbing down with the white and priming it. That's what I'm gonna call it. Priming it with the white. Whoops, I missed. I wonder if I'll have enough. Oop, I got some run off the edge here. Don't run off the edge, guy, I need all of you. I gotta put you in my mason cup jar. Right here, maybe. Oop, I touched, oh, I forgot about that. Now the outside's dirty, dang it. Listen, this is all experimental here. If you worried about doing everything perfect the first time, you would get nothing done. It's crippling. Perfectionism is a myth anyway, it doesn't exist. So don't try to do it. Don't think, don't wait till all the stars align before you try something. Get you, listen, I want you, after you watch this video, today, right now, go and get a vase, a vase. If you get it from Dollar Store, it's a vase. But when you do this, you turn it into a vase. Go get one and do this, eight ounces. And I used five in three Dixie cups with three different colors, alcohol inks, mica powders. Go back and watch this video 40 times so you can learn how to do it. You might laugh too, I don't know. You could be a boring person and you don't laugh at stuff. That's, listen, I try to fix it. I try to fix that, but I'm not a miracle worker. All right, there's a point, you know, where you call it quits. I'm not there yet because I'm still having fun. You know what I will do? We can try to prime the edges that way when we get it done and we do their tilt. Um, 
it might flow this way, but it's spreading out pretty nicely. I did the same thing over here, trying to get uh, just a little flow going, you know what I'm saying? And my, you know what would have been a good idea? Um, making sure this was level. I didn't do that. I didn't think about that. Uh, that would have been a good idea. Hey, is that my flower vase? Um, no, you've never seen this before in your life. I'll be in a minute. Oh, I about got caught. With it. it is her vase anyway, but she don't have to know that. We can't play. forget about the mason jar. Come on. And this stuff's getting kind of thick. So what I'm going to do is kind of heat it up a little bit. Try to get it to flow. Do a little heat in there. Can't hurt. It could hurt. Could hurt a lot. I don't know. Could blow up. I don't know. Now we're going to swirl it around. Swirly girly gumdrops. And see if we can get something pretty in here. I don't know. Might need a little more heat. Ooh, that's cool. Oh yeah. That might be pretty cool. If we can get it to go all the way around. I don't want to heat up too much because how much is too much? I don't know. But um, it really doesn't matter if we screw this up. Ooh, I saw a spark. Hey, look how cool that looks in there. What? We'll see what this looks like when it finishes. And this at the same time, uh, I'm going to pull this off and tilt the canvas. All right, move this over. Let go, let go. There you go. Ooh. It was a swirly darly. It's getting a little tacky. I could heat this up and make it move around probably. Let's pat it, give it somewhere to move. Let's get this here. Move this here. There we go. Some flowage. Give it a little tap, tap, tappy. Get it up. Oh, look at all them bubbles come off. Give it a little tilt. Oh, it's a flowing. Look at that. Now you got the spot in the middle. I should have pulled that off, the vase off a little earlier, but uh, I wasn't thinking about it. I was messing with my mason jar. Give me a break. But we'll come back tomorrow. We'll check our vase and our wood piece here and the mason jar. We'll see what we got, huh? Fun stuff, huh? All right, let's check out how these bad boys turned out. Start with mason jar guy. Pretty cool, pretty subtle, but white-ish purple. Uh, I poured white in first, so I believe that's what covered the majority. Inside looks pretty sick. I did touch it right here um, when it was still sticky and it stuck to it and I messed it up. But, uh, who cares? It's an experiment, you know? Anyway, let's go to the canvas. What? Oh, no, no. no. I'm not wearing the same shirt. Yeah, I slept in the shirt. Who doesn't do that? But the canvas turned out amazing. Well, it's not canvas. It's a wood board. But look at that. Oh, look how slick too, bro. Wow, that looks great. Now, are you ready? This turned out way better than I expected. Check out this vase. This is definitely a vase now. Look at that. Oh, and I was so worried about having to use like the standard cure because the fast cure, well, you've seen what happened there. We're not gonna talk about that. But wait, watch this. Look at the bottom. Look how sick that is. Look how deep that looks. It's like, ooh, you can reach in there and grab it. Man, that turned out great. I am so glad I saw that RK3. Three, I never know if I get that right. And Mixed Media Girl video. Shout out to them again. And if you want to see more experimental videos, things don't usually go exactly how you expect. But in the end, it turns out pretty, pretty not terrible. Okay? Enjoy. God bless. Goodbye.